I will start by removing a healthy plantain sucker from um, plantain tree that I will be using. So this sucker right here is what I will be removing. And this is the plantain tree. I have removed the plantain sucker from the plantain tree. So you can see this is a healthy plantain sucker that I'll be using. So right now So right now um we need to remove the roots of the sucker so you use a knife and start cutting out the roots just like this So this is how it looks like after the roots have been cut out. So I now need to wash all the dirt. Need to wash this sucker and wash out all the soil and the dirt out. So now this is the look after I finished washing the plantain sucker. And I've washed all the dirt and the soil out of the sucker. This is how it looks. So now I've prepared it for the next stage. So I will now begin the next stage of the process. Um, the next thing to do after removing the roots and um, washing washing it properly is to cut it. Um, you remove the leaves. can see how I cut this leaf out, leaving this part. So now this banana sucker is also called cone or banana cone. So what I will be doing now is to removing these leaves, cutting it out from each of these cone, removing it and exposing all the boards. You can see here. Here is the banana board and this is the beginning where the leaf join like it is the joint where you see the leaves start growing so this board is what grow out to be a new plant you can see this is another board right here this is another board So I'll be removing all the leaves. I'll be removing all the leaves gradually till I get to the last board. So for the next stage, you bring a very a small knife. You bring a small knife like this for the cutting. So you see the type of knife I'm using. So this is the knife. You start gently by cutting through the, the leaves like this. So you remove the leaves gently. So this is another board is So you also cut gently. So we'll be doing this, you'll be repeating this process till you go to the last board in this banana cone. You 
see it. So you gently remove the leaf again. So now we continue removing it. You can see here is another board and you can see this is where the leaves started growing so you start gently again and start cutting it So we keep doing this till we get to the last board in this banana cone. So right now we have gotten to the last last board. You can see all the board I exposed. Now I have to cut off here. And see how it looks like after now. Um this is how it looks like. After I've finished removing all the leaves from the banana cone. So the next part is to use a bigger knife and divide this into its equal parts. Now I want to divide it into its, its parts. So you begin by finding the middle of the cone that is here. And you slice it you make a cut this cut i'm making you can see i'm cutting through the mary stem mary stem is this center that's where the board the banana board start growing out the main banana board but what i'm doing by cutting this is i'm trying to destroy the mary stem so when I destroy this mirror stem, all of these boards, all these boards by the side, will, will be induced to start growing. So when those boards start growing, that's the board we now do a secondary division on to produce more banana seedlings. So I'm cutting through the mirror stem now. To destroy the Mary stem. Make sure you are cutting from the center. If not, it will not destroy the Mary stem. So make another cut again. I'm 
and finally you make the final cut so now you can see I divided into into eight parts and also dividing this into eight parts will make it produce more board so each of those board will grow into a separate banana suck on its own which you now do a secondary division on so this is how it looks like after i finish making the cuts the divisions to destroy the mirror stem now now we plant it inside our poly bag using sawdust this is the sawdust i'll be using to plant them so let me start planting it now so i'm done planting the planting sucker inside this this um poly bag so you can see this is the cone inside so i covered it with sawdust so in the next three weeks this it will start growing new banana suckers and the new banana suckers it will grow out you will now divide it to to divide the suckers again that's the secondary multiplication of the banana so thank you for watching this video stay tuned for the update of this this process i'll be showing another video um, of where the plantain suckers have grown new suckers and also perform the secondary activation of, of the plantain suckers to grow more plantain seedlings.